This is a Fox News alert. A group of students at the University of California in Santa Cruz has seized control of an administration building there and is refusing to leave until school officials meet their list of demands. The takeover was organized by the school's African Black Student Alliance. Their demands include painting the school's Rosa Parks house red, black, and green, the colors of black liberation, and imposing mandatory diversity training on all new students and transfers. Amari Reynolds co-chairs the Black Student Alliance and is one of the leaders in the takeover. She joins us now, I think, from within the administration building. Is that right, Amari? Are you, is that where you are? Yes, we are in the building now. You're in the building now. Um, now, I have a list of your demands that you've written uh, to, the, to the school, um, and one of them is changing the paint color on the outside of the Rosa Parks African-American themed house. Why is that so important to you? Yeah, housing on this campus is important to black students in general. Visibility at this campus where we're less than 2% is very important. Um, so having that red, black, and green house in the middle of Stevenson College, which is a predominantly white-serving college, is a very, it's a matter of symbolism and visibility that black students are on this campus. We do exist and we do pay to go here just like our counterparts and we do deserve to be seen here on this campus. Huh, okay. Um, do you want the school to change the interior decorating at all or just the outdoor colors? Just the interior decorating is already um, under, has many of like different African American or Black Caribbean cultural paintings and diaspora paintings inside. But from the outside, no one knows what's inside the house. Um, so it's very silencing to the Black students who do live there. Um, oh. And it's especially at Stevenson College. Right. Okay. So you're doing a lot, and that's not your only demand, but that's one of the key demands from this list that I have. And you're doing a lot to get this. Why not just, I don't know, paint it yourself? Just take a Saturday and just paint it the colors you want. Because that's vandalism and black students are often arrested and often sometimes shot down by police and we do not want to um, put ourselves at that type of risk. Okay. So another one of your demands um, is for housing guarantees, and I'm quoting now, for all black uh, Caribbean identified students. Um, so housing just for African American or African students. That sounds a lot like the segregation that we read about where schools 50 years ago yeah. had special dorms for African Americans. Why is it different? I think it's very different. We're asking for a housing guarantee for black students to live in the Rosa Parks African American themed house. We're not asking for only black students. We're asking for black students to have a guarantee to live in a house that the university advertises as a house that's meant for black students. Currently, about six to seven black students live in the Rosa Parks African American themed house. And we're trying to ensure that black students who do decide to come to UC Santa Cruz know that they have somewhere where they will be accepted, where they can live peacefully um, amongst whoever else chooses to live there with the shared common goal. So would the guarantees also go to white students or Samoan students or Korean students, or would they be excluded from the guarantees? Many students, we don't speak for the white students, the Samoan students, or the Korean students. If they want a guarantee to live in a certain house, um, they're very, more than welcome to fight for that, and we can support that in other ways. Right now, we speak for the African Black Caribbean students who are struggling on this campus and need housing while there is a house that is supposed to be meant to protect them and live as a safe space that is currently only being occupied by five black bodies. Hmm. How long, so how long are you going to stay inside the administration building? And has anyone tried to take you out or are they just, they just waiting for you to leave? We're staying here until our demands are met. We have no intentions on leaving. We've gathered a lot of support through our Venmo, Black Act crew, through social media. A lot of people have dropped off food and different resources and supplies for us. Our allies are here in support and we're here to stay. Administration has reached out to us. Uh, we All have right. a meeting with our chancellor tomorrow at 4 p.m. Uh, and we're staying here until our demands are met and that's pretty much period, right. no, um, no options, it's not questionable. We're asking for four simple demands, basic yeah. demands of the students here on this campus. Well, I'm, I'm sure they will cave to all of your demands, including your new paint colors. Amari, thanks for joining us tonight. Have a good night.